I'm Ali Samba, you're watching Crypto Market News. Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin announced a future transition of the ecosystem to the Ethereum 2.0 stage. During the DEFCON 4 conference, which was taking place in Prague, he explained that it will be called Serenity. The new platform will use proof-of-stake algorithm, have another logic and prodigal economics. Buterin expects that after the transition, the Ethereum network will become faster and safer, less energy-intensive, and its throughput will exceed 1,000 transactions per second. Casper update, as a result of which Ethereum is to switch to the proof-of-stake algorithm, has been under development for several years. During the Futurama Blockchain Innovator Summit, the chairman of Bitcoin Foundation Brock Pierce stated that it is really important to migrate to post algorithm for Ethereum. You know, Ethereum is a victim of being very successful early on, and now they're in the middle of their upgrade. Uh, Ethereum is not going to go anywhere in the near term. They have a huge community of wonderful developers, wonderful applications. They've got incredible momentum. But yes, from a technology perspective, they're behind. But this is a long race. You know, they're just in the pit stop, upgrading the engine, changing the tires, oil, etc. And if they're successful in their migration to proof of stake, scalability and things of that nature over the next year or two, they'll have a second bite at the apple. If they mess that up, uh, yeah, Ethereum could be at risk of long-term failure. But they're far from done. They've got uh, an incredible opportunity still in front of them as long as they execute. After the Ethereum 2.0 announcement, Ethereum price has risen sharply. At the same time, Brock Pierce thinks there are other factors which may have an impact on the price of the coin. For example, a huge amount of Ethereum which startups raised during ICOs. And a lot of them, because Ethereum prices were going up, kept those resources in Ethereum. And as things have been dropping and they're looking at their budgets and their payrolls and their annual plans, <laughs> they're panic selling and a lot of what we've seen in this market drop is all of these ICOs diversifying their portfolio so that they've got the run rate, runway and the dry powder necessarily to actually build the things they've committed to developing to. It's very nice when you brought in $30 million to sit on and it becomes 90, but now they're worried about it being 10. What do you think about the prospect of Ethereum? Leave your comments below. You've been watching Crypto Market News. Subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the bell not to miss the most important news and trends of crypto. I'm Ali Samba. Goodbye.